Graphene is an amazing material, yet it was only discovered in 2004. This is the thinnest light bulb, and it's made from graphene. This is Materials Lab, and is graphene a wonder material? Graphene is my best bet for the next disruptive technology. Graphene is a single thin layer of graphite, the soft flaky material used in pencil lead. A diamond and graphite are forms of carbon, yet they have widely different natures. Diamonds are incredibly strong, while graphite is brittle. Graphene's atoms are arranged in a hexagonal arrangement. So, when graphene is isolated from graphite, it takes on some miraculous properties. It is a mere one atom thick, the first two-dimensional material ever discovered. Graphene was discovered by Andre Game and his students. Game set Da Jiang the task of obtaining as thin a sample as possible by polishing a one-inch graphite crystal. During research, Game and a PhD student named Konstantin Novoselov discovered that graphene had a pronounced field effect, the response that some materials show when placed near an electric field. This would then go on to earn Game and Novoselov a Nobel Prize in Physics in 2010. This prize so very special. From the very bottom of my heart. Thank you all. Silicon is defined by its ability to field effect, and many researchers believe that graphene could replace silicon because of this. We have developed full technology of a graphene-based magnetic field sensor. Uh, this sensor were produced of graphene on silicon carbide. Research into graphene was ignited, and scientists across the world were startled by their findings. We started to see it first in composite material applications in sport goods. Now it goes into, into advanced cars, but now we already start to see it being used for electronics, for printed electronics. It is one of the thinnest materials known to man, yet it was 150 times stronger than an equivalent weight of steel. It is as pliable as rubber and could stretch to 120% of its length. Unfortunately, it does come with some negatives. For example, graphene cannot be turned off. A device that cannot be turned off consumes way too much power. The electrons go super fast thanks to graphene, but it can't be turned off. Some scientists believe that the real issue is business. Silicon is the go-to material for semiconductor chips, and the industry is based around this. For graphene to become the norm, then it first needs to work with silicon in existing production lines. Outside of semiconductor use, graphene has been used in bulletproof vests that had twice the stopping power of a Kevlar vest, or ten times better than a steel plate. Batteries were capable of charging to full in five seconds. Researchers have developed graphene-enabled electrochromic glass that can switch between solar heating and radiative cooling modes. Our device has one of the largest tuning ranges in thermal radiation ever demonstrated. Po Chun Snu, materials scientist, Duke University. Graphene has been found in the concrete industry. Scientists at the University of Exeter developed a new method to add the material to conventional concrete. We learned here at Exeter recently how to combine the lightness and the stiffness of graphene into an ordinary material like concrete to make a new form of concrete that goes under the name of concrene. And uh, that's what we are talking about. We have a new kind of concrete that is lighter and stiffer than uh, normal concrete. The technique is to add water-stabilized graphene dispersions to a concrete mix, resulting in a material with double the strength and four times the water resistance. Even though graphene is being researched in multiple areas, its cost is still high. 
The price of graphene can range anywhere from $100 to $450,000 per pound. This, of course, depends on the quality. Unfortunately, not all graphene is created equal. You can, of course, have lesser quality for cheap, but the best is required for the advancements we seek. In the future, graphene could become the wonder material that many scientists believe it has the potential to be. We will just have to wait and see what happens.